Construction on the Jetta Tower looks like it's finally restarting. Yes, that's right. That pile of concrete that's just been standing there abandoned since 2018 might actually be completed. Jetta Tower hasn't really gotten much attention in the past few years. Ever since Saudi Arabia announced other future mega-projects, like the Line, a 170-kilometer-long vertical city being built in the Arabian desert, and the Cube, a 400-meter-tall, long, and wide structure. The Jetta Tower, on the other hand, was due to become the first ever kilometer-high building in 2020. And now, after five years of uncertainty and a staggering investment exceeding a billion dollars, the completion of the Jetta Tower has become a focal point of global attention once again. This is the Jetta Tower, the first one kilometer high man-made structure. And this is the Burj Khalifa, currently the tallest building in the world at a height of 828 meters. Ever since the Burj Khalifa was completed in early 2010, nothing has actually come close to surpassing it in height. But after holding the record for the tallest building in the world for more than a decade now, that may actually change. When completed, Jetta Tower would surpass the current record by more than 180 meters. In addition to having a record-breaking height, the tower will also house a wide variety of opulent apartments, restaurants, business spaces, a Four Seasons Hotel, and the highest observation deck in the world. With a vision set on replicating the economic prosperity witnessed with the iconic Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the firm behind the project is not just aiming high, they're aiming to elevate Jeddah to the level of a world-class metropolis. All this sounds very promising, of course, but why hasn't it been done? Why is it abandoned? Let's go back a few years and see why this project hasn't been completed yet. Like any skyscraper, the taller it is, the more attention it tends to get. That is exactly what happened in 2011 when the Jetta Tower was announced. Notable architects from all over the world were selected to participate in a design bid for the project. American architect Adrian Smith was ultimately selected for the design, who, coincidentally, is also the architect who designed the Burj Khalifa and numerous other mega skyscrapers. Shortly after, the contractor for the construction was chosen. A 1.2 billion US dollar contract was given to the Saudi construction company Bin Laden Group to begin construction on the Jeddah Tower. The funding for the Jeddah Tower was primarily provided by the project's main investor, Kingdom Holding Company, which is chaired by Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. A few years later, in 2013, construction of the one-kilometer-high building began. Over the following few years, everything went according to plan on the construction site, and by 2017, it was announced that the main structure had risen to a height of 252 meters. It was also stated that the piling and foundation work were finished completely. With the project estimated to be one-third of the way to completion, this represents a significant milestone. However, in late 2017, both the chairman of Saudi bin Laden and the owner of Kingdom Holding Company were arrested in an anti-corruption campaign, known as the 2017 Saudi Arabian Purge. This event involved the arrest of numerous high-profile individuals, including business leaders, princes, and government officials. As a result, the tower's construction faced delays due to economic challenges, because unlike the line and all other NEOM projects, as well as the new Maraba's cubic skyscraper, which are funded by the country's sovereign wealth fund, the funding for the Jeddah Tower primarily comes from the Kingdom Holding Company. The project's situation took a turn for the worse when, at the beginning of 2018, labor disputes with a contractor resulted in the suspension of all structural work. The tower later faced further setbacks due to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. But after a five-year hiatus, it was revealed that work on the Jetta Tower is going to resume. The developer of the project has just started the process of finding a different contractor to succeed Bin Laden Group. A number of construction firms from Europe, Asia, China, and Saudi Arabia have all been invited to submit bids for the contract. 
The deadline for bids is set for the end of 2023. But why was construction restarted so suddenly? The exact reasons behind the resumption of the Jetta Tower's construction are unknown and can only be speculated upon. The reputation of the nation is a likely explanation. You see, the Jetta Tower is considered Saudi Arabia's response to the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and actually holding the title of having the tallest building in the world, along with its other groundbreaking mega-projects, will definitely be a symbol of architectural prowess. Had the project been scrapped, it would have had a negative effect on the nation's reputation. For Saudi Arabia, giving up the Jeddah Tower entirely was just not an option. Prince Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030 is the last justification for the restart of construction. You see, although Jeddah Tower is backed by private investors, it is a physical manifestation of the ambition behind Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative to reduce the kingdom's reliance on oil by diversifying its economy. And based on what we've seen the Burj Khalifa do for Dubai, building a mega tourist attraction definitely works. Today, the Burj Khalifa generates $621 million per year from ticket sales alone, excluding residential and commercial apartments. Therefore, actually completing the project is in the best interest of the nation. Although the Jetta Tower seems to be the project that resonates with everyone, it's actually planned to become the centerpiece of a much larger project, Jetta Economic City. The goal of this major project is to revive the Port City, which is well known for its historic districts and resorts. This planned city is well positioned to grow into a significant tourist, religious, and commercial center in the near future because of its strategic location near the Red Sea and to the north of King Abdulaziz International Airport. The project is anticipated to cost up to 20 billion US dollars and cover a total area of 5,202,570 square meters, with loans from Saudi banks and a significant portion of funding coming from individual investors. As of right now, work on stage one of the city is, in fact, substantially advanced. According to the most current reports, 90% of the landscaping and road network work is finished. Unlike the Jeddah Tower, Jeddah Economic City appears to be doing well in spite of all the setbacks involving the Bin Laden Group. The city can start leasing land to different developers and businesses to start their projects as soon as the foundation and basic utilities are finished. Once Phase 1 is complete, it's expected to create 30,000 jobs. The Jetta Tower, along with the planned 200 mixed-use skyscrapers to be built around it, will create a breathtaking skyline. In addition, it will be split into three areas, a residential neighborhood, a financial district, and a contemporary reconstruction of Jetta's historic Al-Balad district. The country's principal academic, religious, and economic center is anticipated to be the Jeddah Economic City. The race for a one kilometer high structure is ongoing, and the primary players are Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Back in 2016, Dubai announced the construction of the Dubai Creek Tower. The tower is planned to be between 928 meters and 1,400 meters in height. It's safe to say that if the Jeddah Tower actually gets to the final stages of its construction, that number would be closer to 1,400. Unlike the Jeddah Tower, however, the Dubai Creek Tower is not a traditional skyscraper. The building is only regarded as a supported tower since less than half of its height is actually livable space. Once completed, it would be the highest man-made structure ever built. But Saudi Arabia would still hold the title for the tallest building ever. Like the Jeddah Tower, the construction of the Dubai Creek Tower was also stalled for a while as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. But coincidentally, Dubai just revealed that they intend to redesign the tower at the same time that Saudi Arabia announced the resumption of the Jeddah Tower's construction. It's safe to say that there's an ongoing competition between the two nations to outdo one another in conceiving and developing innovative mega-projects. If you're into mind-blowing mega-projects, 
You've got to check out our video on the incredible construction progress currently happening in the line and the rest of Neon. Trust me, you don't want to miss the scoop on their recent 2023 updates. Now, imagine if the Jeddah Tower or the Dubai Creek Tower were ever to become a reality. It would definitely be a challenge for the other to dream even bigger, or who knows, someone out there might already be planning the design for an even taller structure as we speak. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think the Jeddah Tower will become the first kilometer high building? Or maybe Dubai or some other nation will get there first? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.